Hey, this is Mike from Rototiller Guy. Uh, I wanted to explain some of the differences in uh, in valves, primarily, and w what they do. What what? Why do I buy a plastic valve versus a brass valve? And what are the pros and cons? Um, and all that. So. Um, this is a Rainbird valve. I really, I really like them. They're very good. But I, my, my absolute favorite is actually a Hunter. When we go with plastic, so these are both plastic valves. I just think they're a little. The, the Hunter's a little bit stronger. A little, a little. It just fails less often. But they're both plastic. When they're out in the sun, like they are right now in this table. They're getting hit by the, the rays of the sun. The UV rays are penetrating this plastic much better than it would if it were a metal brass. They are subject to heating up and cooling down much more rapidly than a heavy brass valve. So the internal components are what fails. It's not generally the body of the valves in either case. What it is is all the little rubber bits inside of the valve that fail. And so you can buy repair kits that have all the, all the replacement parts, but guess what? They don't sell the replacement parts for the plastic ones. They only sell replacement bits for the brass valves. So when a plastic valve fails, your only recourse is to either go to the store and go buy another valve, which is exactly what I did in this case, okay? So this customer had this, but the thing is you have to buy the exact same valve. The parts will not work if, if it's, I can, for instance, I cannot swap out parts between these two valves. Um, and uh, I have to get the exact same Rainbird valve too, if, if I'm gonna try to rob parts out of it. So what I did, this valve was leaking and for whatever reason, I, I guess I could not uh, affix, you know, get, get the, the plumbing off of this, so I didn't want to play with the plumbing in whatever case. So what I did was I robbed, I unscrewed these six screws, and I took the old one. This is old, and this is the body of this is brand spanking new, but this is an old top. This is an old actuator is what it's actually called, an actuator. So I took the old one off, and I took the new one from this one, and I put it into the old body to save me from having to do uh, plumbing, cutting pipe and re-gluing re pipe back together again. So they don't sell these parts, so I had to rob the parts out of another brand new valve. Um, if it were a brass valve like this one, so this is the actuator, this is the actuator, and this is the actuator, this is also the actuator. If it has the solenoid on that side, that's the actuator portion of the valve. Right? On a brass valve, I can take this off and replace it. They sell the whole actuator, or you can order, now Home Depot doesn't sell the repair kit, and most, most uh, plumbing shops don't have the repair kits in stock. So you have to like find it on the internet, order it, wait for it to arrive, um, and then tear it all apart, and, and put the brand new rubber bits in there. And when it leaks, cause it's going to leak, there's a bunch of little parts in there. Manipulate it some more, you know, take it apart, put it back together, take it apart a few times and then, and then get it to work. Once you've got it working, it's gonna work forever. But it's a little bit, if, you don't, if you've never done it, I, I don't suggest doing it. And I don't like doing it for my customer because I don't wanna come back three days later. Is it worth it to buy a repair kit and not just a whole new valve? It's worth it if you're willing to fiddle with it. It's not worth it for a service company like me to fiddle with it and then have a pissed off customer three days later. If it breaks? Right. It's Well, it is, it is troublesome. When I buy this and it doesn't work right off the bat, I just go back to the store and get another one. And I, I screw it right onto there. And nine out of 10 times, it works just perfectly the first time out of the bat. The problem is the repair kit's like $14 and this is like 60 bucks. I, and I charge $103 to put this on. 
for my time going back and forth to the store and for my knowing how to do it. Um, once you do it, you'll know how to do it. <laughs> but if you're not willing to learn how to do it, then it's worth paying to have somebody else do it, right? So this is a service company, but I am not trying to take advantage of you, but I'm not trying to shoot myself in the foot and lose money either. So of course I'm here to make a living. And how do I make a living by fixing things and charging you for doing it? Uh, now these videos, I'm explaining to you how you can go about doing this yourself. But it's still work, and if you just would rather pay to hire a guy to go do it, and by producing these videos, I hope I'm proving to you that I know what I'm doing. So uh, I'm showing you how to do it, and and I'm just showing you cre the credible evidence that I know what I'm doing, and so you feel more comfortable hiring me. Um, but I am not trying to take advantage of you, which is why I'm showing you how to do it. Okay. Um, the other thing is I don't want to show up at your place and take 15 minutes to solve the problem, charge you an arm and a leg, you feel like I've charged you an arm and a leg and it's not, the value isn't there, and then you write a negative review. Well, I don't want negative reviews, so I'd rather be upfront and just tell you how to do it, and if you decide to hire me to do it and you're willing to pay me, I'm not charging you an unreason, I'm charging a very common, that's what everybody charges, kind of a rate. You know, so I charge 103 for to, to change out uh, uh, an actuator on a brass valve or 103 for a brand new valve, okay? Um, or 103 when I just rob the parts out of it because I'm, I'm actually, so if I'm affecting a valve, if I'm fixing a valve, it's $103. If I'm putting in a brand new valve, so if I put in this brand new valve because you don't have one, it's $103 to put it in, but this valve costs me a lot more than that one, so I charge $150 to put in a brass valve. The benefit of a brass valve is it is more repairable. It is It can handle more uh, PSI, pressure per square inch, so it can deal with more pressure. It, uh, it withstands the weather for a much longer time, so it's gonna last longer. Um, and it's and it's repairable much more repairable i don't these i generally have to change all the plumbing these the only thing i ever have to change usually is this this thing here which is called the, this is called the actuator so i just swap out the actuator and this is this has been repaired um so there's a big benefit to putting in the brass valves but they are about 50 dollars more so that's that's enough of video for that so this is, again, this is Mike from Rototiller Guy. I hope that was helpful.